Hello and welcome back. Oh, okay, so we are in the Storyboard Storybird writing platform. We found art that we liked and we clicked on it and then we pushed that blue button that says start a Storybird with this art. One thing you need to know about Storybird is they love blue. And so if there's an important button, chances are it's blue. Or when you're in the platform, the background here is blue and the buttons are sort of gray. So I found art that I liked and this platform shows me all of the art that is in that collection. Now you need to use the art that's in that collection. And you so the first thing I do when I when I get the story platform open is I see what I'm doing here. I'm sort of organizing the pictures. I'm putting I'm moving them out so that I can see all of them at once. This um collection has a nice number of pictures. There aren't too many. Uh, they're just enough to write a story. So what I do is I, I uh, spread them out like this and then I click on them. And when I click on them it, it gets a lot bigger so I can see the detail. I see there's a little bear pushing a bunny on a swing and they're outside in the forest. So I can get a look and I think about that bunny. Okay there's some more bunnies. So perhaps my main character is going to be a bunny. Well there's a fox that same pretty pretty background and a bunny sleeping in a bed alright so there's bunnies doing things and a fox now the fox is on the swing alright well there's, there's something in common is that swing maybe that swing can be part of my story too and there's the bunny on a swing again and there's some more bunnies alright so I know that I'm gonna definitely have a bunny in this story and some foxes. Well, I know from what I know about science that bunnies and fox are sometimes enemies because bunnies are a uh, prey of a fox. So perhaps the fox can be my my uh, bad guy. When you grow up, you'll know that that's called the uh, what's the word? Hmm. I'm going to think about that in the back of my brain while I show you how to use this. All right. So I have a giraffe now, and the bunnies are in a tree. Hmm. Why are the bunnies in the tree? All right. So what I do is I think about my story, and I get started. Now, see down here, you have the first page, and it's got a black box around it. So that's the page you're working on. I'm going to add three pages just to begin. And I'm going to click on page one and know that that's my first page. And I am going to stop. Now, in in reality, when I'm really doing this and not just showing people how to do this, I would sit for a long time and look through these pictures and figure out what the sto what is the story? Who's the main character? Who's the hero? Who's the bad guy? And, oh, I remembered the word. It's called an antagonist. That's a big fancy word for bad guy. So if you are in second or third grade and you use the word antagonist, your teacher will look at you like, oh, what a smart kid. All right. So I know that my good guy, my protagonist, is going to be this bunny. So I'm going to click on this bunny in the swing, and I'm going to put it into the picture book. And I can put it on the bottom. The gray part will be the part where the picture goes, and the white part will be the part where the words go. So I want the words to go on the bottom of the first page. So I'm going to click it right here and let go, and my picture pops in. Isn't that cool? and I write my story at the bottom. So I type cap shift plus O for my capital letter. Once there, can you hear me typing? Once there was a bunny who loved to swing. Okay, so I introduce my character. Now the next part in any good story is to, you know, continue to introduce your character and uh, then you introduce a problem. And more on that in my next, um, screencast about what makes a good story. But this is just about how to use Storybird. So here's page one. Oh, and you know what? You also can get a cover. To make the cover, you just put the title over here. I'm going to just pretend that the title of this book is called the title whoops, of this book. And down here I can put my name. Not my last name. Never our last names. That's why I'm Mrs. Awesome and not my real last name. So, and then I'm going to put my first name just by Kareem. And now my book has a cover. Oh, and check this out. Click back on the cover. See these little squares over here? You can change the color of the color of your cover. No. 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 Oh, that looks nice. I like that. All right, now we're on page two. And so on page two, I continue with 